Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape COVID-19 data in Excel. So we've talked about different ways you can get data. You've seen 40 different ways, you know, 40 different data sets to get. But in this particular video, let's see how we can even scrape Excel data. I mean, data in Excel from online. And right here, I'm in GitHub. And this could be 19 data, real time data that has been updated hourly on a different hourly basis. But this is a trusted source. The link is also part of, you can see the link down here. You can click on it and get familiar with the feed. So, how do you even approach it? First, this data has been structured in a time series format. And right here, you can see we have confirmed global cases of COVID 19 that has been confirmed. We have the people that died we have those that recovered. So there are in three. So I have to bring them into Microsoft Excel. So how do we do this? First, let's start with the confirmed cases. Click on it. We can see this data, but click on view raw. Okay, and you will see this link in the browser. That is what we need. I'm gonna copy, make sure you copy all the links. Copy, then go to Excel. And I'm gonna to go to Excel, I'm gonna open up this is a new Excel workbook. Then I will go to data. Then you see from web. I'm going to click from web. Requesting for URL. I'm going to paste URL here. That URL and click on OK. It will prompt for things like this. It's anonymous. It's public data. So I'm going to click on connect. It's done establishing connection. And what I have right here is a preview. So just click on transform data. This will take you to Power Query. When you get to the Power BI session, you'll be surprised that, wow, this is the same thing in Power BI. Yes, in fact, Power Query was formerly in Excel before it became something that more features were added to and it's in Power BI. The strength of Power Query is ability to automate the process, data cleaning and transformation process. So you don't have to go through those phases again. You will see that here. Now, this is the um, confirmed cases, confirmed cases. So I can edit this guy and rename it to confirmed. That's, the, that's this table, it's confirmed cases. And this is the link data source. I can go to data source here and use the drop down. And the reason why I'm using this drop down is it's loading 877 columns. I don't want it. I want it to be real time so that the next day that I come there is going to continuously load them. Just remove this column. That will solve that problem. So every day automatically is going to be updated, this data set. And a few other things, this province, country, region, latitude, longitude, they are columns. They are column header. So I need to up elevate them to that level by clicking here. And uh, when I click here, you're going to see use first row as headers. Use first row as headers. I'm going to click on it. Then it will, okay, it's asking, yeah, in start step. So I've promoted the headers. As a matter of fact, it should be here. All right. So everything is fine now. Is at the top. Then I also need to unpipe all this data because it's time series. So, <laughs> And is a wide data. Wide data are data whose breadth you can see they have higher number of columns. As you can see, continue like this. The columns are many. And if you want to check more about the column, you can come to view and see column distribution or column profile so I can get to know more about the columns. No, but we are not up here now. That's not why we're here. Go back to home. So I need to unpipe them so that they can be stacked in a way that I can easily analyze. What I have to do is just to select these four columns, pro uh, province and state, country, region, latitude, longitude, select all of them now. Right click and say on pivot other columns, on pivot other columns. So I'm going to click on on pivot other columns. And what I then have, it has turned this guy to attribute and value. I did this guy, this attribute is date. This value is for confirmed. So I'm going to call this confirmed. So these are the cases, confirmed cases. This is the date. So everything has now been stacked. We're going to have 
it has turned from wide to long. Why? Because there are several number of columns, almost more than the number of rows, to something where we now have more rows than columns. The columns have been reduced. Okay, we've done this and we are done for confirmed cases, but that's not all. So I need to go back and by coming here and say duplicate, we need to do the same thing for, you know, death as well as recovered. So I'll go back here. Go back to the cases, time series cases. I've taken the global. Now let's go to debt, not the UI, is the global. So I'm here for global. Yeah, click on raw. Copy the address as well. Go back to Excel. Because I've, you know, duplicated this, I can call this debt. Is that the debt? Then come to source and click on this J button, which is the settings. Then here, paste, paste that value. So I've pasted it now, I'm good to go. So what I have here is similar to, you know, the previous things, but if I come back here, it has really, it has applied those steps. I just have to rename this because it is not confirmed, it is dead. So I've renamed it. The same thing I have to do, come to duplicate, and you know this is recovered. And I'm going to data source, let's go for recovered. Here time series, and you see recovered global. Let's go for the raw file. Copy everything. Come back to Excel. Because this is the recovered one. Let's go to the source and click on the J button. Paste the new link and click on OK. All the steps you can see right here, they are transformative steps. By default, when I'm on that source, do you see we have so many rules, I mean columns, and those columns represent data for the represent data for is a long uh, is a wide data for recovered. But because these steps have been applied automatically, so it will change the data type, it will promote headers, it will on pivot, it will rename, and that's what we have now. So everything has <laughs> is there. So I have to rename this guy to recover. Awesome. So we have three now. So what we have left is to join these data together. So how do we merge them? How do we append this query? So if I go to transform here, if I go back to home, I'm right on home now, and you click on confirm, which is the first case, then go to this merge queries. Don't click on merge query. Use the option beside it, that drop down arrow. You will see merge query as new. Click on merge query as name. So what are we merging? We are merging two at this. You can merge three, merge two, and then go back and merge uh, the other one. So I'm merging this confirm with that, and the resulting query will be a new one. So I've merged the resulting one which recovered. So let's merge this with that. Then let's select the columns we're actually merging. So follow them in this order. First click on province or state, press down your control key, click on region, we need region, then come to date, click on date. These are the three things we want to merge across all. Then come down again, while still clicking down on control key, province, control region, then date. It's going to ask for this option, just bring it up here and say public, it's a public data. Then click on save. Then you can click OK. You see, it has generated a new query and this time around it's called merge one. Um, and this merge one has, if you check the colon, you see, debt, we have confirmed, we have debt. And it's having debt as stable. So I'm going to click on this guy to expand it, this branch to expand it. And when I click on it, just select all, select just debt, and uncheck this box, and click OK. All right, you see, debt is here now as a colon. Then I'm going to edit it and just call it debt, not debt one. 
So I now have a new query, merge one, which has all my data concerning confirmed and dead. It has all these two data. Okay, good. So what other thing I still need to merge with recovered? So this time around, you don't need to merge as new. Let's just merge recover plus this single merge query now by coming here to merge queries and just click on merge queries. Don't use the option to merge as new. So when I click on merge query, so I have my merge one, then I have to just merge now to recover. The same thing I did the other time, select province, press down your control key, country or region, then date. Come down here, province, country or region, then date. You will observe that there's always an icon that shows the order. The order is very important. You can see one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm done here as well. Then I'm going to click on OK. So it's done merging. Similar thing we did there. Click on this recover, these branches here. On select all and put just recover. Then click OK. Amazing. So we have this. I'm just going to rename it. Recover. Awesome. So we have all this data now and they're going to be updating real time because we have checked the data source settings and we are making them what they should be. Another thing that you should also um, check is if I right click, if I select confirmed so that it's not loading. If I right click here and go to properties, I think advanced editor. Nope, it's not advanced editor. If I go to property, there is something called easy load. So first, fast load. Don't leave it there. Leave it on check. Okay, if it's in Power BI, it's called, I think it's easy load. Uh, and it might be checked by default, so you can uncheck it. But when we get there, we see how it also works. Click on cancel. So everything is fine. Just click on close and load. Close and load. It's going to load this data. <laughs> And you see everything is loading, is merging, is doing everything. I'm going to see the data here called merge one. Of course, I can rename it to full data or consolidated data. So it's still loading. This is doing a first time load. So that I can gather all those. There are 248,000 records. And this is it. This is the table. We can now start building our chart and report. I can. I did this guy and call it consolidated. Consolidated data. All right. So this is it. This is everything. Tomorrow we are bringing experts who will walk you through how to be stunning dashboard to tell story with this data right in the Excel. So even before you go to Power BI, but you need to see that Excel is full of miracles. Thank you and bye.